So I'm going to multiply 16 times 27. And I'm going to do it using something called an area model. And the whole point of an area model is to really understand what's going on in the multiplication process. So 16, you can represent literally as 10 plus 6. This 1 is in the tens place. It represents 1, 10. So we can represent that as 10, 10 plus 10 plus 6. Let me do the 6 in that same green color. 10 plus 6. And let me mark off 10 and 6 here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this part in blue, that's the 10. So I'm representing, I've gone 10 slashes, or I'm representing 10 boxes right over there. And then the 6, actually I wanted to do it in that green color. I still did it in that. The 6, let's mark off 6 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 16 is this whole length. The blue part is the 10. The green part is the 6. The 10 comes from the 1 in the tens place. It's literally 1, 10. And this is literally 6 ones. Now let's think about 27. 27. Well, we already know that the 2 in the tens place is representing 20. So let's count off 20. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So up until that point right over here, this line right over here has a length of 20. This has a length of 20. But we're not just talking about 20, we're talking about 27. So it's 20 plus 7. So 20 plus 7. So let's count off 7 here. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if we look at the total number, so if we have 16 times 27, the product 16 times 27 would give you the area of a 16 by 27 rectangle. So let me draw that. So it's 16. This is a width of 16. Let's bring, let's bring a little line down right over here. And then the height of my rectangle, the way I've drawn it, is 27 is 27. So let me, 27. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the area of this rectangle is going to be 16 times 27, the area of this entire rectangle. Now what we could do is break it up by parts because it'll be easier to compute and we can see what those it, what, those, it, what part of the area those different products represent. So for example, we can think about what 10, so let me draw all the, let me draw, make this let me separate out the sections. So let me draw. So this section is 10 wide. And then let me draw a section like this. Let me draw a section like this. So we could figure out the areas of each of these sections. And then the area of the entire rectangle, which is going to be this product, is going to be the area of all of these rectangles combined. So we could first think about it. Well, let's think about what 20 times 10 is. Well, 20 times 10 is a fairly straightforward thing. It's going, to be, it's going to be 200. You can already think of it as 2 times 1, and you have two zeros there. Or you probably know in your head 20 times 10 is just going to be, you're going to add a zero here, so it's going to be 200. So 20 times 10 is 200. And let me highlight that in. So you have, that's not the color I wanted to use. Let me use this blue right here. So that's the blue from the 10. Let me put some orange in there from the 20 to make it clear that this is the product of both of those numbers. So 20 times 10, 20 times 10 is 200. Now what's 20 times 6? Well, 2 times 6 is 12, plus you have this is 0 here. So this right over here is going to be 120. And it has the orange in it. It has the orange in it. So this is the 20. And then let me put some green in for the 6. 20 times 20 times the 6. Now, what's the area of this section right over here? Well, it's 7 high, and it is 10 wide. So it's going to be 7 times 10, or 70. And I'll have an area of 70 square units. So let me do it in this purple. I'll do purple, and I'll throw some blue in there, too. It's kind of a fun art project. I'll throw some blue in there, too. And then finally, what's the area of this little section right over here? It's 7 high, and it's 6 wide. 
So it's going to be 7 times 6, or 42 square units of area. 42 square units of area. And let me color it in. So I got some magenta in there, and then I got some green in there. So I have some green in there right over there. So what's the area of this entire thing going to be? Well, it's going to be the 200. It's going to be the 200 plus the 120 plus, let me do it this way. It's going to be 200 plus 120 plus 70 plus 42. And when you add that up, you get, let's see, in the ones place you get a 2. Then you get 2 tens plus 7 tens is 9 tens plus 4 tens is 13 tens, which is the same thing as 3 tens and 100. And then this is a 4. Did I add that up right? Let's see, this will be 11. Yep, that looks right. So this is 432. So this is going to be equal to, this is equal to 432. And you might be saying, hey Sal, why did we go through all of this business? You know, I've seen before that if I take 16, I could take 16 times 27 like this. You probably learned this type of a, this type of a process, 16 times 27. And you say, okay, let's start with the seven in the ones place. And you do seven times six is 42, is 42. You write the two down. And you carry the four. You're really just putting the four in the tens place because it's a 40. But there, right when you right when you did that seven times the six, we essentially calculated this right over there. And then when you multiply the seven times the one, you're really multiplying seven times ten, and then you're adding the four from the 42. So when you do the seven times this one, this is you're actually calculating this area. And then when you carry when you add this carried four and put it right down here, you're ta essentially taking the sum of both of these things. Because you're multiplying 7 times the 16 to get this area. 7 times the 16 to get this area. So let's just do it. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11. 11. So 112, what you just figured out right over here is this area right over here. It's so a 7 times 1, or the 70, or 7 times the 10, or the 70, plus 7 times 6, the 42. Now, when you go into the tens place, you've probably always said, oh, well, you know, I just, throw a, I just throw a zero down there. But why do you throw a zero down there? Because this two is representing 10. So if you multiply a two times a six and you wrote, put a you know, 12 and or you put a two down and carried the one, that wouldn't be right. This is a 20. So that's why you put the zero there. So let's scratch this out so we don't get confused. Two times six is 12. So we're used to writing the two down here. 2 down here and carrying the 1. But notice, we're really thinking about 20 times 60 is 120. Just doing that, we just calculated that right over there. And then we do 20 times 10 is 200. But then we had that 1 from the 120. So this is going to be 300. So this is going to be 300. So what we just did when we multiplied the 2 times the 16, we just calculated this total area. We did the 2 times 20 times the 6 to get that. And then we had the 20 times the 10 to get that. When we did the 20 times the 6, we carried this 1 into the hundreds place. And so we added it all together and got 320. And then this step right over here, you're literally just finding the, the combined area. The area of this plus the area of that. The area of this plus the area of that. So that's going to get us to, we deserve a drum roll now, 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4.